Welcome to Babies and Bones. Click to subscribe below. Don't forget to like and comment. Your comments can guide us on what videos we make next. And we're back. I'm Dr. Nima Moran. And I'm Dr. Kate. <laughs> and today we brought back Dr. Sagar Patel from Sagar Patel Aesthetics in Beverly Hills. And we are going to talk about Botox. Yes. All right, Sagar. So for everyone out there, what is Botox? So Botox <clears throat> is a neuromodulator, which is a fancy word for something uh, that we inject into your skin that paralyzes a muscle. Um, it's botulinum toxin, and if you're wondering why the heck would you want to paralyze something, uh, the reason is is that when muscles move, that's what's causing wrinkles, and Botox helps prevent wrinkles. Okay, and so when you, when you inject that, that stays in that one area. It doesn't go anywhere else? Exactly. That's the goal. Okay. Okay. And where do people most likely get the injections? Yeah, so the most common places <coughs> are the forehead, um, but you can do it um, all in a lot of places. Um, obviously, the face is what people are generally injecting Botox with. Um, you can actually inject Botox under insurance coverage for migraines and TMJ, which is um, when you have inflammation of your jaw joint. Um, but the most common places are going to be the forehead, the crow's feet, which are the wrinkles you get on the side here, and then the muscles in between the eyebrows called the glabella. Okay. And so I understand that people do it because, you know, it kind of gives you that younger look. We get rid of all these wrinkles that I got. But how long does it actually last? Yeah, so Botox actually <clears throat> only lasts for three months, um, three to four months. Okay. Um, obviously, all the company, there's four different brands of it available, actually three right now, the fourth one is coming out pretty soon. Um, and all of them are about three to four months. Okay. Um, and side effects to getting Botox? Um, really the main thing is going to be bruising uh, and a little bit of swelling for where it was injected. Um, in general, for the bruising, I recommend a couple of things. So you can take a herbal supplement called Arnica, which helps prevent bruising. Okay. Um, and avoid aspirin, Motrin um, before the procedure for about three to five days. So any type of NSAIDs, anti-inflammatories? Yeah. Okay. And is that because you're more likely to bleed with exactly, that? Exactly, yeah. Got it. Okay. Does it sense. hurt? Um, so we, I <clears throat> use something that's basically called a uh, mosquito needle. It's a 30-gauge needle. Oh, tiny. So it's really, really, really small. Um, definitely. I've, I've injected it into myself before. <laughs> and um, definitely it hurts in this area a little bit more. Um, but overall, if you use numbing cream, um, it doesn't hurt. Okay. that much at all and some people will do it without even any numbing cream and you know i'm going to ask this because everyone wants to know how much does it cost well there's a huge range depending on where you go and where in the world you're having it done okay. obviously being in beverly hills average for you general things so we charge 12 dollars a unit in my office um i'd say the range is going to be anywhere from eight to sixteen dollars a unit okay um and what I recommend to people is, you know, you can go somewhere cheaper, but kind of go with a recipe on what you want. Um, having a proper analysis done by a board certified doctor who can tell you about how many units you need, where you need it, um, for the first time getting it done there is probably what I'd recommend. And then afterwards you can go to somewhere cheaper and be like, hey, I went to a doctor and this is what they did. Can you kind of copy that? Got it. And so for someone like me, if I wanted to get rid of these wrinkles right here up top, and it's 12 bucks a unit. How much am I looking at? Yeah, so um, <laughs> there's a big there's a big. She variation. wants me to look younger. <laughs> there's, a there's a big variation. There's a big variation. Men generally have more active muscles, so you need a little bit more for a male. I would say you probably need at least 30 units for the forehead in this area right here. Oh, okay. so 360 bucks. That's that's the math. <laughs> so, still got it. <laughs> um, really big hot topic, especially in my office, um, are <clears throat> women who are pregnant and then women who are breastfeeding. Um, so how do you feel about administering Botox to pregnant women and to women who are breastfeeding? So what the only contraindication for Botox is going to be for people who are pregnant. Um, Botox is the botulinum toxin, which is why you don't give honey to babies um, because it can cause major issues. It's been proven to be a cro to cross the placenta. I don't think there's any cases of it actually happening, um, but in studies it shows that it can cross the placenta. <clears throat> so pregnant women in my practice is a definite no. Okay. For breastfeeding mothers, um, I generally recommend against it because there's not it's not an emergent medical treatment or anything, <laughs> and because it's because there's the risk factor of it happening, I generally don't do it myself. Which makes perfect sense. But my, my last question for you is 
who's the perfect person to use it? Like who, who's your target group? Yeah, um, really. Uh, so one <clears throat> important thing to know about Botox is it's preventative. Um, so what that means is as muscles move, we're creating wrinkles in our skin. Um, the less time that you have <laughs> those wrinkles, uh, the less wrinkles you're going to have permanently. Um, so, you know, as early as 21, 22, you can start getting Botox okay. and it'll look natural. Um, won't look, you know, as, as long as it's done right. Um, but obviously older people, uh, it can help with, with, uh, wrinkles too. Cool. So I think one day maybe Kate and I will come down to the office for a little bit of Botox action. <laughs> we can maybe bro, the video, maybe we call it Brotox. Brotox. Uh, Brotox, yeah. Not if I get it. <laughs> um, so awesome. I hope you guys learned as much as we did today because I did not know that much about Botox. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks Thank for you for answering me, our questions. I uh, hope you guys learned a little bit something about it.